Hello everybody, Princess Bear here, and we're back at All-Star Sports because it's an All-Star Weekend, an All-Star Day, day All-Star Saturday. It's a windy All-Star Saturday. Yeah, so we have come to what they call the Value Resorts to check out the theming and check out the three bars you have to choose from over here. Yes, so just like we did with Pop Century and Art of Animation, we are here to tell you, the show you the best and worst of um, the All-Stars. Since you have the ability to walk from one resort to the other and you have three bar choices, why not? Exactly. So uh, let's go get some spirits. Be sure to enjoy movies, sports, music, and subscribe. You heard the girl. Welcome my friends to our first drink of the comparison video and the wobbly table. This one is extremely wobbly, but I guess what would a Princess of the Bear adventure be if we didn't find at least one wobbly table? I got the poolside tea. It's basically a Long Island. Oof, it's very tart. It almost tastes like lemonade. It's more like lemonade than anything else. It's very delicious, but probably not gonna be my favorite of the day. It's just a little too sweet for me. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five teas. Poolside iced tea, which I have problems with because they put iced tea in it, but for instead of iced tea, you put cola in it. Cola is not tea. If you don't tell me I'm gonna have tea and alcohol, I want my tea and my alcohol, but not cola. Unless it's Jack and Coke, then I do want cola. Or cola and tequila, even though I don't know why people drink that. Uh, soapbox, I'm on a rant, I don't know. That. It's not that bad. It's very tart. I'm just tasting the Coca Cola in the back end, and I'm I'm not loving it. It's definitely strong though. Two and a half out of five plus. The strength of it is the only reason to get the two and a half. This is the blueberry lemonade, and I am terrified of dripping this on my skirt. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you can taste it like flavored vodka. It tastes like, um, like a, like a Powerade maybe, a Gatorade, but alcoholic, like really alcoholic. I kind of like this one better than mine, but not that much. I'm gonna give it a three out of five lemonades. It's been a really long time since I've had one of these. Bear hasn't ordered one of these in a while. And this one's just, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's, it, I can't place, I can't place it. That's right, I got a blueberry lemonade, which is exactly all blueberry. It's part pomegranate and flavored vodka. What is it? And Sprite. Did it need it Sprite? Probably not, but it's in there anyway. It's more like a blueberry lemonade freeze than lemonade. And it's not, I'm thinking it's probably sweet and sour, not actual lemonade. Which is again not lemonade. See, this is a theme here. A theme. Oh. oh, God. This is not a good entry so far. I'm, I, got, I got some issues in this bar already. Already. Two and a half out of five plus. The bourbon 
had this many times, most recently on our boardwalk bard crawl. That was kind of a fail. I guess comment and let us know if you think we should do that again. Hmm? Bourbony. Delicious. I don't know why, but it takes me back to the Bay Lake bar crawl. And I'm here for it. So far, this is my favorite drink of the day. I'm going to give this one a four out of five bourbons. Bourbon breeze makes me wish that all breezes were made of bourbon. Then I would live in a place that's much windier than this. Oh, there's a ton of those. Nice color on this nice sunny day. Ooh, it is very bourbony. I was expecting that actually to be weak. I will tell you, don't get me fooled. These bartenders at these hotels, especially the value hotels, they can pour. They they know their audience, should I say? And they're more than willing to make whatever you want, given the ingredients at their disposal. So if you don't like to on the menu, feel free to ask. We've just been ordering menu drinks because we know you guys like to see what you can order. Not bad. It was three and a half or five plus. I have to agree. This is the best drink of the day so far. I knew that when I ordered the bourbon breeze and Bear was confused that he was going to get a strawberry mark. And not just any strawberry mark, a frozen one. Because if, he, if you're Bear, you're getting a frozen drink. I don't understand the logic. It tastes like a pre-manufactured, pre-mixed slush with a small amount of alcohol. Two out of five marks. So yes, it's um, it's Florida, and it's April-ish, whenever this decides to post. But it, it, it's 67 degrees outside today, and it's very windy. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I thought it would be a very good idea to order a frozen drink. Not knocking those who like frozen drinks. You guys have seen me if you've been here for a while. If not, go back and watch. I drink a ton of frozen margaritas, frosés, because I want to feel fancy. Um, I don't know why I decided to today. I feel a tiny bit manipulated by the princess in that regard. Like she knew she ordered the bourbon breeze, which would be the first thing I would order because it says bourbon in the name that I would order a frozen drink next. Uh, I will say that if you're at the Valley Resort or basically any Disney resort and you're looking to drink for effect, the frozen or pre-made drinks coming out of like either a uh, a tower or like a, an icy machine are not the way to go because they will be the weakest. <sighs> Burst of blood vessel just trying to drink out of that straw. Sweet. Shouldn't have been really frozen. Something like this normally melt a lot quicker in the Florida sun. Definitely in need of an extra shot. You know they don't offer that. Two and a half out of five plus. Did you ask? No, I didn't ask. Because they usually do if you ask. I guess I should have. Maybe next time. shelf margarita with that Pat Ron because I love me some Pat Ron. No salt. I asked for no salt and on the rocks. Very good. Tastes like bad decisions. I commit to this mistake. 
four and a half out of five marks. I think this is my winning drink of the day. You really can't go wrong with a margarita. I can't really think of a single place that a margarita is inappropriate. Not even a hospital. No explanations will be given. Ooh. Okay. There's some balance in that. I really most balanced drink I've had all day long. It's a good flavor to it. It's a margarita. It's consistent. And it doesn't let me down in any significant way. Three and a half out of five points. I still like the bourbon breeze though, it's my favorite drink so far. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So I saw this. And I feel like the winner of today's comparison sort of spoke for itself. Now we've had the drinks this size before. They also sell these at uh, the Gurgling Suitcase at uh, Old Key West. I had no idea that you could get these at All Star Movies. Now this is the, one of their double feature drinks. They call this one the Director's Cut. Not the Halloween director, but a director's cup. It's, it fits perfectly in a bear's palm hand. Like, we were meant for each other. It's kismet. Unfortunately, Princess can't have any because we recently found out that Malibu rum changed distributors. And uh, some of their sugars have may have non-vegan processing. So, none for the princess. All for me. I promise you I'm sad about it. Liar! I'm so sad, I'm drowning my sorrows because I could literally drown in this drink. Mm. Flavor wise, it's got a nice punch. It's basically two cocktails in one. But uh, I think it's worth it. And you need to keep the cup. And we're definitely keeping the cup. I'm not going to fight keeping this cup. Four to five thoughts. This is my overall winner for the day. Your chalice of alcohol. Like the holy grail. Buck goes. This is the dinosaur. Okay. Disney, the fact that this is no climbing breaks my heart. You put that up there, it looks fit to climb. Like, I want to climb it. Instead, I'm climbing checkers and skinny jeans. The princess's camera work. The princess is saying I'm having too much fun here, but look at her. Look at what fun she's having. <laughs> All-star bar crawl, or all-star comparison, rather. It wasn't a bar crawl. We're not crawling today. We kind of crawl. Even though after that last drink, I might crawl a bit. Uh, I think, I was expecting sports to be the best bar, but on my humble bear opinion, I think that it was movies. I actually also thought that movies was the best, and I would put sports second and music third. I would agree. We don't know what you guys have seen. Which resort do you, bar do you think is the best? Would you bar crawl all three? Should we make this an actual Prince and the Bear sponsored bar crawl? Sponsored. Sponsored. I don't know. Sponsored. Who's we're, sponsoring we're not us? Sponsoring anybody. Nobody's Either. sponsoring us. So, what do you guys think of this? Of this, the resort bars. I want to know from you guys. Let us know in the comments. If there's any other resorts you'd like to see us uh, compare bars, by all means, that's going to be a place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will try to get into this car and sleep in there forever and never leave like it's Hotel California. I mean, I've, I've slept in a car for a weekend before. I'll do it. No, but forever. Because you can check it anytime you like, but you can never leave. But you heard the girl. And Disney, why, why is this grass? Is grass with, with concrete? Why why is it grass? Why is it on a block cart? I'm so confused. Put a bar cart here. You heard the girl.
hither, princess. Come hither. You have one minute to explain to people why they should go see Lion King the Musical. Lion King the Musical is such a good movie. Or Lion King Musical is such a good uh, stage show simply because not only do you get the music from the movie, you get enhancements, and the, the costuming is so amazing that you don't even realize that the actor is like inside of the costume by like the interact, not the interact, after the intermission. You go to that scene where it's like Simba in the pool and Mufasa's dead. He's like, Simba, remember who you are. And by that point, you would never even realize that you're watching actual actors on the stage. It just looks like animals. It's amazing. And the music is good too.